It's October 22nd. Historically, this has been a pretty good day for me. Last year, I knocked down a good one after hunting all day, but conditions were a little bit different. It's 4 o'clock in the morning right now. It's been raining since, now well, Friday night. It's on Sunday now, so the rain just let up about an hour ago, so hopefully the pre-rut kicking off deer are going to go open up some scrapes and be moving around quite a bit today for the first time. Gonna walk into a spot today. It's a pinch point uh, that runs on the inside bend of a river. So I'm gonna walk in kind of parallel the river and get to a spot where the terrain kind of pinches it down. The river bends around it one way and then uh, there's a steep bank on the other side that kind of makes a nice little pinch point with some terrain uh, vegetation diversity in there that looks like it sets up nice. I haven't set foot in it yet. I'm just kind of going in blind here. It's a good morning to go out and it's Sunday so we're doing it. I'm not going to talk too much, overthink it. I'm going to get out and enjoy the morning see what happens. It is tore up with buckside in here. There's rubs and scrapes everywhere. It's pretty wet though. The river's high. I'm glad I didn't come in by the river. It's tight again in here, but that's okay. Probably gonna try to do a little bit of rattling first thing here and some grunts. Headed into another swamp piece today that abuts up to a southwest facing slope that runs up to some fields on top. With all the rain that we got the last couple days, hoping they're probably going to be pushed up out of the swamp and not bedding so much on the edge. And it'll be easy to differentiate where they're traveling on that transition line between like the swamp edge border and the hardwood forest. So we're going to change up here on the side of the road and head in there. I've been in the spot this year, jumped a deer in here last year, a little buck. I didn't get it on film. I was set up further deeper into the edge and I jumped a little buck in here last year. So, you know, we'll see. I'm set up for the night. I'm on a subtle transition line from the swamp edge into the softwood forest at the bottom of this bluff that runs parallel with the swamp. I'm sitting at a break where there's a steep part of the uh, hill that comes down into the swamp and then it gets gradual. It looks like it might be a natural funnel for deer, deer to move up so that's where I'm sitting. Relatively open understory. Don't expect to see a whole lot but a doe might come through here and we're in the market for a doe. We'll shoot one if she's big enough. But I think it's too open in here for a buck to come out unless I happen to choose the exact spot that the buck's going to come out of this thick swamp and then work up here in daylight. Pretty unlikely, but not impossible. Time will tell.
I'm set up in a uh, kind of like a staging area 200 yards back into this thick stuff which I suspect is probably all bedding and it butts up to this green field with a river on one side of it kind of pinches it down hoping for some natural movement in here and we're gonna see what happens that's gonna do it didn't see nothing in here heard a bunch of blue jays all around me going off the tree lines around me eventually making their way off towards the fields but there's a full moon tonight it is 72 degrees wasn't anticipating a ton of movement and activity but was hoping to get lucky before muzzle opens anyway I'm gonna get down climb out of here muzzle loader in the morning gonna go for a good walk do some scouting see what we see Saturday, October 28th, was New Hampshire's muzzleloader season opener. Due to unseasonably warm temperatures, I didn't really have a good place I wanted to go sit, so I took the day poking around some new spots I hadn't been to, scouting uh, in the morning, moving some trail cameras around, and then ended up poking around a big swamp I wanted to look at um, for the evening sit, but didn't really see anything. It's uh, Sunday the 29th. Ended up deciding we're gonna try a, another river spot today. Hopefully the water's not too high. Got the canoe loaded up. It's uh, 4.45 now that I'm loaded up and on the way. Um, gonna get there, shooting lights at like 6.45. Ballpark around there, 6.50, so. Hopefully we get in there get set up for gray light all right we're set up this morning overlooking a massive swamp we're right where this big swamp piece um, connects to a different kind of bedding area with some softwood thickets and we're right on the edge of the river that connects them there's a little beaver dam crossing that I'm sitting over that's usually above water the water is super high now so it's underwater but any deer that are working out of this piece over here and want to cross into this one typically will do it right here I know that's a doe bedding area I've seen deer bedded in this stuff before a couple years ago I was bow hunting in late October I had a little six pointer with a really flat red head I remember that he came and worked a scrape behind me until eventually he winded me but I should be okay my wind is blowing down with the uh, current of the river straight back so hopefully I'll be alright hopefully we see something this morning it's a little bit windy overcast it's uh, 41 which is a 30 degree temperature drop from yesterday which is awesome so High expectations for today. Hopefully you just want to see some see some deer. I haven't seen anything in here. Oh I'm cold. We got rain coming. I'm gonna climb down, get out of here, try to beat the showers and warm up. Left my coffee in the canoe right here, so I'm looking forward to that. Well, happy Halloween. It's four o'clock in the morning. Going on an amphibious assault this morning. I have the canoe loaded up. Going to canoe across this big lake to get to a remote ridge system. Nobody walks back there, goes back there, except for me in my canoe because I'm nuts. So that's the plan for the day. We get over here, we're almost at the boat launch. Launch the boat. Try to keep our hands dry as we paddle across here and get after it. I'm set up at a little crossing that connects these two pieces of woods in this swamp. It's like an old skid road path that connects them. Seems like a good pinch point of travel. I walked around on the hill a little bit behind me on my way in. Did kind of a loop before Jay hooking back to this because I didn't see really any sign where I did in the last couple of years. So. It's pretty wet. 
lots of wildlife talking this morning. We're going to buckle down and see what happens. Alright, well, it's 10 o'clock. Gotta get down and start making my way out of here, get ready to go to work, unfortunately. I just realized I haven't seen any deer in like four or five hunts. Just that little spike, I think, was the last one that I saw. Not very good, but that's the unfortunate reality sometimes. It's all right. The next week, got another vacation coming up, and uh, more videos coming up with the rut kicking off any minute now. <laughs> so, all right, let me get down, warm up, paddle out of here. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned. We'll see you on the next one.